The Chevrolet Trax is back, pero this time in the form of a compact crossover. First introduced as an entry-level vehicle, the Chevrolet Trax made its way to the market with an all-new look. In contrast to the previous model, which was a subcompact crossover with a charming design. The 2024 all-new Chevy Trax takes on a more aggressive appearance. Watch this episode to find out the features and improvements of the Chevrolet 2024 Trax. Dito sa Manibela. This is the 2024 Chevrolet Trax, redline variant in shark skin metallic. Ito po yung model na meron siyang three variants. Yung uh, LT, yung RS, at saka yung mid variant. Ito pong redline trim which costs 1,866,888,000 pesos. So if you're thinking about getting a new vehicle from this category, this review might help you decide in choosing what vehicle will best suit your needs. Apple for more test drives and automobile-related contents, huwag niyong kalimutan, mag-share, mag-subscribe, at pakilike po ang ating official page ng Manibela TV. Before we get to know the behind-the-wheel feel nitong Chevrolet Redline sa atin pong test drive, makakasama natin ngayong araw ang isa sa mga representatives ng Chevrolet Makati, si Mr. Adrian Kevin Maribao. Sir Kevin, good morning. Good morning, Daniel. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Salamat It's an honor to meet you, sir. Ah, likewise. Uh, salamat sa pagsama sa amin. Itong variant natin na to, bali lalabas pang ilang generation na to? This is actually a second generation. That is why we call it the new gen next generation tracks. Ah, uh, okay. So, ano ang kaibahan doon sa nagdaan? Sa so, nagdaan po, sir, it is actually 279 millimeters longer, 51 millimeters wider, and has 170 liters more cargo volume. Wow. But how about the other features? For that, sir, uh, you have a new 1.2 liter next generation engine under the hood making 137 horsepower and also it's also made it to a six-speed automatic proven tested and very reliable product of G general motors but this is the mid variant no yes po sir what you see here is the tracks red line po you can see the outlines of it it has mm -hmm. red lines oh you don't care about the red line no? yes po sir and you can also see on the 19 inch rims you also have red lines for that okay uh, meron ba tong cruise control? Yes po, sir. Adaptive ba yung cruise control niya? Hindi. Hindi po siya adaptive, sir. What it does have is a, a speed limiter. And for the front camera, sir, it comes with a standards Chevrolet safety assist. So, automatic emergency braking, gap adjustment for uh, the brakes. Uh, the brakes are also e-boosted, which is the same ones that you would find on a Corvette. Okay. Kanino uh, ideal yung mga ganito na uh, variant ninyo? This variant is actually aimed towards those who are, well, into more adventurous types. I want to say due to the price for people who want to enjoy their life, enjoy their money, and just want to have fun, this is going to be a car that you want to look forward to. Pwede din siya medyo a little bit off-roading. Yes po, sir. Uh, the car is actually pretty light and with the 1.2 liter engine under the hood, it'll go anywhere where you want it to go. So, what's our claim natin when it comes to fuel consumption? It will be around the same range as our other products. So, around 9 to 11 kilometers in city driving mm -hmm. and approximately 20 kilometers on highway driving. But, of course, those are all dependent on the driver and road conditions. So, what's the price range of uh, top of the line? Natin? For our top of the line, sir, that would be one mi around 1,968,888. Konti lang din ang difference, no? Yes po, sir. Oo, pero anong added features nun? There are only three main added features for that, sir. One would be the all-black seats, RS badging for uh, the headrests, a sunroof, just for the driver and passenger, though, mm -hmm. and a wireless charger for... Uh, located in front of your uh, transmission. So, may Apple CarPlay na din, but ito, itong variant na to? This variant, sir, it does not. We only have Android Auto for these variants. Ah, okay. Since these come out of South Korea, well, 
it's a Samsung. Mm -hmm. Yes, a Samsung siya, no? Oh, yung... If you have an Apple device, you can just use it to connect to your Bluetooth. Ano yung recommended ninyo na, like, can be used for uh, ibang mga purposes? If you want a comfortable and actually stress-free ride, uh, this is the car that you're going to want to have. Not only that, for our second row, it's actually quite more spacious than uh, the previous generation and even some of the other cars in our lineup. Since the car is made in South Korea and it's designed for the U.S. market, uh, the size for the second for the second row has actually a lot of legroom. So for us Filipinos who are considerably shorter than Americans, you're very, very comfortable in the second row. Mm -hmm. So if you want to just go out with your family, go on an outing, maybe go here to the adventure camp, mm -hmm. have a two-hour ride, it'll be no problem whatsoever. But for this mid-variant, how many colors do you have? For this, sir, we only have uh, shark skin metallic. And just like our other variants of the Red Lion, we have uh, mostly dead colors. So shark skin metallic, black, and white. Pero walang price difference yun? Wala po, sir. Ah, so, pare-pareho lang. Kasi sometimes yung variance nila sa color, tumataas yung ibang color nila, pero ito pare-pareho pala. Tama po kayo dun, sir. That is uh, for Chevrolet Makati po, sir. We don't have any of those. You can pick any color that you want as long as we have it in that variant. What's the major point that I would decide to buy this one if you will be the one to convince me to get one? I always say that a Chevrolet is a car that you don't need. It's a car that you want. So if you're going to decide to buy this, first, it's not going to be up to my decision. All I'm going to have to do is convince you. What are you going to use it for? Are you going to use it for everyday travels, going to and from your house and to your work? Do you want to stand out from the crowd yet somehow blend in? Of course, you can do that with any other car. But can you do it with the luxury and safety provided by this car? This car is, again, it's made in South Korea, designed for the U.S. market. It boasts a 5 out of 5 rating for the U.S.'s NHTSA. The meaning of that is the safety standards for the car are above and beyond what we actually are more standardized here in the Philippines. At alam naman ninyo, syempre, we all have different uh, driving styles. Kaya mas maganda, you can check out and visit and test drive this uh, trucks. Chevrolet trucks. Ito ang pinakabago nila. Maraming salamat po. O yan, si Sir Kevin. Ha? O, baka gusto nyo mag-test uh, drive. Eh, punta lang kayo doon sa Makati. And with those specs and features, tignan din naman natin kung kumusta naman ang kanyang performance. Siyempre, iba yung actual ride din, eh, no? Kaya samahan niyo po kami. Let's hop inside the Chevrolet trucks para po sa atin namang test drive. Oh, game. Ready to take off. Let's check it out. Naka Chevrolet track style. Yatin. Ito ang kanilang mid variant. Ooh. Malakas siya. Ganda naman ang kanya. Alright. Check natin. Oh, turbo. Ang powerful ah. Ganda ng power niya. So, maganda rin yung comfort niya. Tapos, meron siyang lane assist. Maganda. I always say that, no? Na kung gusto natin talaga na malaman kung okay ba para sa atin, i-test drive niyo po. Kasi 
iba yung kayo yung actual na magsasabi, yung feel. Kasi magkakaiba po tayo ng maaring driving skills o mas magagaling kayo na magmaneho ng mga four wheels na ganito dahil meron kayong alam na ibang uh, technique. Ano? Kasi siyempre minsan pag mabigat yung paa mo sa accelerator, medyo malakas tumain ng consumption ng gasolina o kahit na sabihin nyo na merong mga driving modes pa ito or yung ibang mga sasakyan na tinatest drive ninyo o ginagamit ninyo and saan ba natin siya gagamitin kaya pang city driving I can say okay na okay din talaga to and even siguro for long rides kasi spacious naman talaga yung maluwag kahit dito sa driver o, tapos yung kanyang upuan naman o, merong electronic setting ka na rin na pwedeng gawin yung features niya okay yung ride niya smooth naman yung ride niya at saka ang ganda ng ano torque ko oh, responsive very responsive when it comes to stability maganda yun. and all other features check niyo po kung papasa sa inyo pero yung comfort yung riding comfort i can say na para sa akin po no Okay naman to Pag nagdadrive ka Siyempre iba yung feel Kung nakasakay ka Like kalimbawa Nakaupo ka sa likod Kamusta ba kayo dyan sa likod? Hindi ba matagtag? Ha? Ito po yung ano Kito kayo naiba punta dito Oh, kamusta ang ano niya Ride niya Ay, Puyat ka Kaya ganun Sa likod oh, Spacious naman Yung Ganyang Uh, likuran din at harapan yung legroom maganda din ano? kaya lang syempre po titingnan nyo yung price point niya kung compare nyo dun sa iba at kung ano din yung talagang type ninyo kasi meron kung minsan uh, talagang gusto nila yung ganitong brand so depende pa din po talaga kasi ang price point niya is 1.8 million ano? nasa 1.8 million siya So, titignan mo ano ba among others yung ibang mga uh, kapareho niya kung ang tinitignan mo yung ganitong mga klase ng sasakyan. Pwede niyo pong i-test drive. That's one thing na talagang i-consider ng bumibili. Uh, dun sa price point niya compared dun sa iba na maaring may ibang i-offer more than what they can have dito sa variant na ito ng Chevrolet. Pag pinag-uusapan na po natin yung price comparison, syempre, ipinapalo mo siya doon sa ano ba yung makukuha ko sa presyo na to dito sa vehicle na ito compared doon sa makukuha ko naman sa ibang vehicle na inyo-offer nila but with the same price point or even lower than that. Pero lagi, eh, maganda pa rin po yung check natin yung ano ba yung oh, aking ano, pangangailangan oh, uh, at uh, nandito ba lahat yung kailangan ko at makukuha ko ba doon sa presyo na to sa iba yung kailangan ko na yun or mas mura pa and mas mataas pa yung specs. Ako ngayon, hindi ko pa siya na-explore lahat. But naliliitan lang ako dito sa pinaka-panel niya. Ano? Uh, pero ito naman, okay naman. Siyempre, pagka mga matandang kagaya natin, medyo alam nyo na, ano? uh, minsan naghahanap ka ng malaking... Ito lang dito, parang uh, masikip lang para sa akin yung nandito sa panel dahil siguro doon sa considerations ko po ano, na tinitingnan. Pero syempre, hindi naman magmamatter yan po sa iba o hindi naman yon talagang issue sa iba. Kasi maaring may issue ako sa halimbawa ay mga fonts o mga maliliit na ano dahil may, may edad ka na as compared naman sa mga bata pa na nakikita pa nila yung maliliit halimbawa. So depende po yun ano, dun sa talagang magiging uh, requirement naman po ninyo. At yung hahanapin ninyo based dun sa talagang pangangailangan ninyo personally. Dahil eh, kung 
matagal kang nagmamaneho, ano yung mga hinahanap mo. Iba-iba naman po tayo. Maaring ako, two hours in a day lang ako magda-drive. Maaring kayo naman po ay mga four hours kayong magda-drive. O, ano ba yung kayang i-tolerate ko will be different dun sa kaya ninyong i-tolerate. O, marami pong mga considerations. Kaya uh, you will really be the one to decide when it comes to that. Kaya po mahalaga lang. Alam ninyo kung ano yung inyong binibili, ano yung mayroon siya, ano yung wala, at uh, sulit ba para sa inyo dun sa presyo na yun. Maganda siyang i-drive, no? Uh, madali siya. Sa handling niya, madali siya. Hindi siya mahirap. Kaya, gaya niyan. Kasi, uh, one of the things na po sa sarili ko that I check when I am driving, yung position ng aking kamay, yan ako, nakapasok ko ng ganun, and sinecheck ko yung range ko doon sa steering wheel uh, pagka nakakapit ako tama ba yung ano ng position ko na hindi ako masyado mapapagod kapag nagmamaneho na ng long drive uh, so far sa kakayahan naman ng pagmamaneho uh, nasusut naman po niya yung aking uh, uh, kakayahan or skill sa sa driving unang-una ay automatic din naman siya and na, naibibigay naman din niya sa akin yung power na gusto ko dito sa ganitong klase ng uh, road na pagmamanehohan mo or kung magsi-city driving ka kasi hindi ka naman masyado magpapatulin but of course kahit na magpatulin ka naman kung nasa expressway ka ng county uh, based doon sa legal speed limit na meron tayo dito which is 100 kilometers per hour eh, hindi ka na po maghahanap pa when it comes to that because you can even go uh, higher than 100 kilometers per hour wala ka magiging problema dito sa sasakyan but uh, magkakaroon ka ng problema doon po sa mga enforcers or sa mga highway patrols uh, syempre iba-iba po yung ating lugar na pinagmamanehohan merong iba't ibang mga restrictions para sa sasakyan. Ang ganda ng preno niya, oh. responsive yung brake niya. Oh. Responsive, oh. Test, test natin. Oh, very responsive. No? Kita mo, pati sa, pati yung mga cornering mo, ang ganda ng cornering niya. Maganda siya. Ganda cornering niya and yung comfort niya. Ganda. Very agile, nimble, pati yung suspension. Okay sa akin yung suspension niya. A Mac person niya tata. Yung power niya, maganda. I, I'm telling you, it's very responsive kung sa point of view ko po. Ano. It's very responsive. Um, binibigay niya talaga sa iyo yung uh, apak mo dun sa accelerator. Iko consider na lang talaga din dito is yung panglasa po ninyo and yung inyo pong uh, masasabi pagdating doon naman sa presyo niya as compared dun sa kung ano ang meron siya. At as compared doon sa iba po, nakapareho niya ng price or even lower yung price. Pero as it is, yung comfortability, 
yung maneuverability, yung pagiging nimble, kita mo. Ayan, pati yung tunog eh. O, ang ganda. So, if price is not an issue, then pwede nyo pong i-consider. O, eto ano. Kasi, ang ganda eh. Kung nagdo-drive ka talaga, ikaw yung tapos ano ka lang, mag-isa ka lang, papunta ka ng office. Ganda naman din yung pati yung aircon niya. Maganda ang bigay. Naka, kahit naka-layered ka ng suot. Ganda. Okay. Siguro mas maganda yung isang variant, no? Ang top of the line nila. Kaya lang kasi, kung ako, mag-gym nila ako eh. Kasi hindi pwedeng ganito sa sa lugar ng pinagmamanehohan ko eh. Hindi ko maipapasok sa mga ano to, mga siit-siit. Sa mga puno-puno. Sayang naman. Sa mga masisikip na lugar. Sayang siya pagka doon mo gagamitin. Again, it's the 2024 Chevrolet Trax Redline Variant. At sa akin, medyo i-consider mo lang talaga yung presyo niya at saka yung kanyang features na meron siya as compared sa iba na maaaring ka-presyo o mas mura sa kanya. Pero when it comes to ride, ang ganda ng ride niya at ang gandang... Dalhin and very nimble, uh, yung maneuverability and yung comfort, okay na okay siya. Kayo po naman, comment down below and tell us your thoughts uh, about this new compact crossover, mga kamanibela. Sana kahit paano po nakatulong sa inyo ang review na ito for your car hunt journey. Palagi nating tatandaan, ano man po ang minamaneho natin. Mapa four wheels man o two wheels man yan, lagi nating paalala, mata sa kalsada, kamay sa manibela.